Hey everyone, Monkey Wrench Mike. We are back with another video. Thanks to my good friends at Copart. And let me tell you, uh, I think I may have said this in another video. I haven't walked 100 yards and I've done three videos. So that means I've seen at least 369 cars that I really, really like. And there are so many cars that are out here. I haven't even explored all of this yet. So their stock is turning over and that's a good sign. People are buying the cars, saving a lot of money and enjoying what they purchased. I wanna do kind of a comparison video with this one because the first three vehicles that I saw were these small SUVs. So let's do a comparison video and we're going to compare, let's see, what do we have here? We have a Buick, we have a Ford, and we have a little VW. So here they are, we have the Buick, we have the VW, and we have the Ford. Should we do them in this order? Or should we go here, here, and here? No, we're close to the Buick, so we're gonna check out this Buick. It's a nice looking little car. I like the color. This is a 2022 Buick Encore GX, which looks good. I don't see a lot of damage at all. Loss type is unknown. So that can be very iffy. It can be very costly if you make a mistake or you can come out on the other side of the coin and save yourself a ton of money because sometimes these unknown issues are simply a relay or something like this that somebody couldn't figure out and so they just got rid of the car. You can save a ton on the cars out here. Um, the tires are good, Kenergy GT. I mean, this is basically 2022. It's almost a new vehicle. So I'm really interested. Well, there is some scuffing right here. I missed that. But that wouldn't be enough to make me want to sell this car. Let's go ahead and see if we can get inside and take a look. As far as the quality of the vehicle, Consumer Reports kind of liked this. They really did. Um, and now that I'm seeing this, I think I may have reviewed this. Yeah, they said the engine, the 1.4 cylinder turbo, the six speed automatic is kind of anemic, but it has a better ride than some of the larger SUVs. They did like that. Um, so it's not really a sporty vehicle, but it had lots of creature comforts, although the cabin is kind of cramped. Um, and it's, it's, it's much, much, much smaller than like a Toyota RAV4. But the engine in this sounds good. Here we go. Washer fluid is low. That's it? That's all you got? Okay. Yeah, 20,824 miles. Why are you here? We have a oil service at 19.6. It was due, so you're a little over. You got a thing for your cell phone right here. Let's max out the AC. She's running good. There we go into reverse. Go into drive. Everything's fine there. It, this is a very upright seating position. Okay, I feel like I'm all, almost in like a dining room chair here because my knees and everything are like way down there. Let's check out this. I think it's a 1.4 cylinder turbo. That's what's at most of these. Uh, here we go. Little bitty, teeny tiny engine. We do have some critters that have stored some food there. Okay, it's a little shaky. Yeah, I will say that. It is a little bit shaky. You can't really hear that or feel that in the cabin though, which is good. That's a tiny, tiny engine. And there's very, very little coolant left. So that might be an issue. Yeah, this is, the brake fluid looks good. The fluid should be fine. I'm just concerned about the lack of coolant right there. So we're not gonna let her overheat or anything. We'll turn her off very, very quickly. Looking back here. Yeah, this is a very tight place to be. You don't get a whole, but it's a, it's a, like a teeny tiny little SUV. You can't ask for everything. Does this open automatically? Yes, it does. And you do have some room for your groceries. There's your spare. You can put stuff down here if you need it. You got a front license plate holder right there. The spare has never been out of the car. Nice. Um, we'll make this close. 
We're gonna sneeze. <coughs> Ooh, here comes another one. Nope, okay, averted. Crisis averted. Allergies. Allergies are kicking in. Here we go. This is the 2022 or 23. It's a 23 Buick Encore. I like it. It's very upright though. I will say it is very, it's like you're on top of the vehicle. Not sitting in the vehicle, you're on top of it. Next up, we have the Volkswagen. This is a 2024 Taos, T-A-O-S, Taos. I don't know, Taos. It seems to be about the same size as the Buick. It really is almost, you know, inch for inch. Very comparable. Loss type is <laughs> unknown once again. Here we go. Okay, we have Goodyear tires. This is a new vehicle, so why are you here? Why is your loss type unknown? What is it about the Taos? Taos, I'm gonna call it Taos. It's a good looking, I like how they did this and they carried this back to the, the door. That looks nice. Tires are perfect, body is perfect, no issues at all. So, I don't know. Let's check out the back seat right here. These are kind of sporty. This is nice. It is it is a step below the Buick, I will tell you that. It just, it just looks to be a little more basic than the Buick. The Buick is way more upscale. Let's see what this feels like on the inside. We do have power. We got a nice instrument cluster. Oh, it's all digital too. Wow. Okay, this smells like a rent a car. Let's see what happens. Okay, a little Taylor Swift on the radio. Attention, the engine is running. Why, thank you. Oil change service, inspection service due. Doors open. Look at everything you, look, that is cool. You have, so you have temperature, gear, 21,000 miles right here, mileage left, gas tank right there, everything you need to know. And I guess you can put a route right there and it's gonna take you where you wanna go. Nice. Okay, let's see if she goes into gear. There we go, there's your backup camera. I don't know why it keeps popping up. Attention, the engine is running. I know, I know. She goes into gear fine. Okay, let me see if I can move the seat back. It does have electric seats. Automatic headlights. What does this do right here? Car, 5.7 miles per gallon average. Ah, that doesn't seem to be too good. Two messages. Now let's go back for the messages. Oil change service and inspection service due. Door hood, trunk lid open. So the car will message you. Nice. Very nice. Telephone navigation. Oh, this vehicle is not equipped with navigation. Okay. Uh, media. It's not connected. Okay. Vehicle. Okay. Well, it's kind of basic. The seats are not that comfortable, I'll tell you that much. It's, it's like you're sitting, they're very hard. Yeah, it's a very hard foam under here and they're kind of thin. But this does feel a little more roomy than the Buick. Okay, the seats aren't as comfortable. It's more hard plasticky than the Buick but it is, it is bigger in here than the Buick. Yeah, when you close the door, this does feel like a much larger cabin right there. Both the driver and the passenger like to lean back. Okay, there's no roof or anything here, nothing fancy, nothing inside your rear view mirror right there. A lot of empty buttons that could be, you know, used for things to do things. You know, you get a couple of cup holders do the windows work? Yeah, this is going to work. So why is this here? That's, that's the great question. It's a new Volkswagen. 30,000, no, this is 21,000 miles. Yeah, 21,804 miles, 2024 VW Taos. And she's here at the auction site. I don't know. 
I don't know. This this is kind of cool though. That's nice. Well, what do you think about this? Let's take a look at the engine. There it is. Ah. I think we're missing an engine cover. Do you even get that? That's kind of weird. So it's a transverse engine. You can see the pulleys in the belt right there. There's a lot of clatter, but it's pretty smooth. And this one has a good amount of coolant in it. There's just a lot going on in that engine. That seems to be bigger than the uh, Buick as well. Okay, well, 2024 Taos by Volkswagen. Thank you very much. And finally, 2016 Ford Edge Titanium. Ooh, yeah, so this is, this is larger than the other two SUVs. Okay, this is kind of a mid-sized SUV. Consumer Reports liked it. They said they liked the uh, Turbo 4 much letter, better than the uh, V6. This one, the Lost Type, is listed as... Uh oh mechanical. Yikes. Okay, so... I don't know, it may not even matter what engine it has. Um, they said the interior was roomy, spacious. Uh, there you go, titanium, EcoBoost. I don't see any damage on the outside. We got a flat tire. Okay, so you probably need a tire. Maybe it'll inflate, but I don't know if I would trust it after sitting here for weeks and weeks like that. Um, I don't, there's some scratching on the bumper right there, but that's about it. Okay, let's take a look at the back seat. Oh, oh, this is nice. That's a nice surprise. Bas have I reviewed? I think I may have reviewed all of these vehicles before. I don't know, but if you missed it, okay, this is new. Um, I like the basketball orange. This is cool. You got that, they're getting all dried out though in the sun. Okay, so we'll see if we can close that. This is way bigger. And I think this is, uh, this seems to be a little bit nicer than the Buick itself. Okay, let's just see. The seats are pretty comfortable. That is huge. And the sun is coming in here like crazy. All right, let's see if we can um, do something and see if it's gonna start for us. All right, after further review, I don't feel comfortable starting this because one, there's absolutely no coolant, whatever this is, add OA, MOA, I don't even know what that is, um, motor oil, ASAP, I don't know. And the way the engine is looking, this, it's been a hard life for you and the battery is way back in there. How much fun would that be to change? Nine of 21, so it's a three-year-old battery. It is a motorcraft battery though. It's just, this is dirty. This This car has had a, tough life you can just tell I'm sorry the it just ugh. yeah this is not something that I'm gonna be interested in maybe you would be interested in this but yeah the inside is nice I just don't know about being listed as a mechanical problem here I love this part of the door good sound system. They did like the uh, SYNC 3 system. This was updated in 2015. They said it made it a much nicer vehicle, much more comfortable than the previous model. Um, and I, I would agree, this is cool. This looks very much like a Toyota to me. Um, and it is kind of a raised seating position right here. You're almost sitting. So if I'm, I'm looking, I can see out over this headrest right here, which is nice. Um, and just having all of this Sunlight coming in is nice, but I wish I could close the cover because it is a thousand degrees in here. And it's a very high shoulder line too because it's almost level with my shoulders. So I feel very well protected in here and there is room. And this is still kind of pushed back. I'm talking myself into this, but there's what's in the back. Yeah, but that sun right there, oh, it is a thousand degrees. So I think we're just gonna say, uh, that's it. I'm not interested, you're beautiful, you're cute but you're just not my type. That's a good way to let them down. You're not my type. And that's gonna do it for another video here at Copart. I wanna say a big thank you to everybody that lets me come out and have so much fun out here. They have a very friendly staff. And don't forget, you can buy everything 
on the phone. You can buy the car, have the car shipped to your house, all that kind of stuff. They will overnight the documents to you. Everything that you need, okay, is on the app. So please go check out the Copart app. You don't have to be a dealer to be able to bid on most of the cars. Some of the cars are dealer only. Most of them are not. And so just regular folks like, you know, you and me can bid on these cars and buy them. I don't know if I'm gonna bid on this Ford right here. I don't know about the Volkswagen. The Buick was nice, it was comfortable. It was little, it's very, very little, but it's, it's, it's cool. Be sure to let me know which of the three vehicles that you like. I read all the comments and if you're especially witty, <laughs> if you say something funny, then I'll give you a little heart. Sometimes I even reply, but I do spend a large portion of my day looking at the comments and reading what everybody has to say about my videos, and I certainly appreciate your honesty. All right, everybody, we're back with another one very, very soon. Until then, have a great day, okay? Bye-bye.